and everybody stood to watch the jousting. <clears throat> and as they stood, all crowds as well, he stood before them, he made his pretty speech, he sat down, and as he did, the sound was carried upon the breeze, and the sound began to get louder and louder, till all at once <clears throat> the air was filled with the sound of the secret. The king has all his ears! The whole crowd began to feel that there was something different about their king. And they looked at each other, and as one they said, The king has all his ears! <laughs> and they began to laugh a little bit. And the king was sitting there, feeling a little bit foolish. And he was about to feel a little bit angry, and a little bit betrayed. It was as if the laughter was infectious. And all of a sudden, because all the crowd was smiling and laughing and jolly, he suddenly thought, it doesn't matter. And he took off his crown and he threw it in the air. And everybody cheered. Together they said, The King has horses. <coughs> the lady who had sat beside the king said to him, I don't care. You have horses' ears because I love you anyway. And in that moment, the king knew that it didn't matter what anybody thought, and it didn't matter what had happened, because he was who he was, whether or not he had horses' ears. And the barber remained his barber. <coughs> the other barbers, they were welcomed back into the kingdom. But from that day on, the young hairdresser knew that he would never be trusted to keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs>